Hey guys, I tried to do this earlier and uh, apparently I wasn't awake enough and I uploaded another video instead. So let's do it now. I was just going to do an update on the kitchen. Everybody kind of wanted to uh, see what we have done. This little cabinet used to be on the other side of the kitchen, you know, before we got in here. And I've put it there to give me a workstation a little bit at a better angle to the stove. All right, and we've got a stool there that was Aunt Marietta and Uncle Jesse's that we're just using while we're here. And then here's the kitchen, and the sun has come up now, so it's real bright. And I've actually did the dishes, so you don't have to look at the dishes again. <laughs> and let's see, this shelving unit we got at Ollie's, which is like a discount closeout store. And the bins we're using to store bread, potatoes, and onions are just um, metal trash cans. So it didn't cost all that much. And we have like a freestanding pantry there. The top is for like snacks and medicines we want to have here in the kitchen closer to, you know, the cups and stuff to take. Uh, we brought our vintage coffee maker that if you go over to my husband Scott's uh, YouTube channel, you can see how he made a repair to the switch. And I'll put a link for Scott's video down below because I know he'd love to have you guys come visit his channel. He doesn't do a lot of videos, but he does a lot of like simple repairs and things that not very, very many people do anymore. So you might be interested in, you know, just checking it out. He likes to work on the vintage equipment. And to tell you the truth, vintage equipment will hold up so much better than anything brand new. And you can pick it up on eBay for very little money. That's like vintage KitchenAid mixer that we got on eBay. And I don't think we paid all that much. I'll ask Scott about it and tell you later. Um, let's see. Oh, I've put, this was an idea I actually got from Betsy Doodle, RD. Um, these are a set of garden lights in the shape of stars and I just kind of wound them around the curtain rod that was hanging here and this gives us just enough soft lovely light at night to get through the kitchen to the bathroom because the bathroom's off the kitchen um, like I said this is a really old house and they did things different back in the day but you can see it's just a nice soft light and at night it's very very sweet um, the dish drainer, I was absolutely thrilled. I picked up at a yard sale years ago, was going to get rid of it, but something told me I needed to hang on to it, and this is why. Works perfect. Now I can stand plates up, and I don't have to worry about them falling on the floor. Um, let's see. And I guess that's about it as far as the kitchen goes. I just thought I'd share the little update. Um, that's about all we've done. Uh, Adele, his sister, said to hold off on putting a cabinet up right here. Um, she had thought about getting Scott to put a cabinet here to put the microwave above the stove. But she's had different, different ideas, I think. So we're not going to mess with that right now. I don't know how many of you have um, one of these solid surface cooking ranges. It's not something I would have in my own house. I just don't like it. I... I just don't. <laughs> it doesn't heat the same as a coil um, Bernard electric range and I just I guess I'm just not ready for that change right now. But anyway just sharing a little bit uh, we got up here last night and I had a kind of a rough night with my stomach. I don't know if it was the Burger King Whopper on the way up because that that's the only thing different that I ate yesterday that Scott did not because he got a chicken sandwich and he didn't get sick or if I had a slight stomach bug so I'm I'm not gonna say it's food poison I'm not gonna say it was you know stomach bug it could have even been nerves but who knows cuz um, we're getting ready to leave and uh, Greg comes out and says that he's not feeling good his face is all swelled up and he's can't hardly breathe and he's just achy I told him to go to the doctor today because it might be type A flu because it is just absolutely running rampant here in South Carolina. So I said the sooner you get on Tammy flu, the better. But just thought I'd share this update. I know a lot of people wanted to see an update on the kitchen. 
in a little bit we'll explore the porch, okay?